Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Over the weekend, I took a long weekend break for Easter to spend time with the family. I'm back, but you guys, things continue to happen as I was taking my break. One thing that happened is some news came out about Amber and Andrew. They had a two-day trial last month, and we're just kind of getting the news from that. One thing that's interesting is that at that trial, Andrew, he told the judge that he wants the permission to move to California and take James with him. Now, he lives in Indiana. Obviously, that's where he's been for the past few years. He moved there to be with Amber. They got pregnant. She had the baby. The incident took place in July 2019. And when that happened and Amber was arrested and sent to jail, he actually asked the judge then if he could move back to California. That's where he's from. That's where his family is. And he told the judge, like, listen, I'm going to be a single dad. I kind of need to be around my family. But the judge did not want Andrew to take James away from Amber. So the judge ordered him to stay in Indiana. But to make things kind of easier on him, he said, listen, since you're going to have to stay here, you can stay in the house. And that's why Andrew's always been in the house. It was to kind of make things easier for him because he wasn't going to be able to move back to California to be with his family and have a little bit of help. So they was like, you stay in the house. Amber has to move. Amber literally rented an Airbnb for like two years, two and a half years. She just recently purchased a home. Um, I did a video where I went over photos of the home and someone actually left a comment saying like that I was being creepy by posting photos of the home. But you guys, the only reason I did it is because Amber went live on Instagram showing the home off. The only thing was is that she was going through the rooms kind of so fast and the camera was moving so much that you couldn't really make it out. But she was saying like, do you guys see it? It's very pretty. Do you guys see it? So she was actually showing her home off. So after that live, I was like, let me see if I can get better pictures, to which I ended up finding better pictures, and I did my video to show you guys the home. It's a really nice home. It looks like a little country-style home, basically. Um, it's a three-bedroom, uh, two-story house. It's got like a little reading room. She paid a little bit over $300,000 for it. It's got a nice little patio in the back. Nice little home for her and her kids, right? Um, so last month, they had this two-day trial. He tells the judge he wants to move to California. He tells the judge what his ideal custody um, arrangement looks like with Amber. Amber also talks about her ideal custody arrangement as well. And then, you guys, I did not hear anything about this. And I don't really follow Andrew like I used to. But apparently, Andrew had a GoFundMe account set up. And he promised Team Mom 2 fans that if you donated to this GoFundMe $10,000 or more, that he would go out and do a meet and greet with you. That he would fly to you, him, not only him, but Baby James as well. That if you donated $10,000 or more to this GoFundMe, that he and Baby James would fly out and have a meet and greet with you. So all of this was brought up in this two-day trial. Him wanting to move, Amber's wants for their custody case, and this GoFundMe where he literally offered to go meet people. Not not just him, but James. That's the weird thing, is James as well. So let's go over everything that we know that went down at the trial. Okay, so this trial took place last month. It lasted about two days. Um, it was then where Andrew told the judge, not just the judge, but obviously Amber and her attorneys, they were there as well. So he basically told everyone that he plans to move himself and baby James to Malibu to live in a mansion on his mother's property. His mother's name is Charmaine. Um, you guys may or may not know, but his dad was a famous cinematographer. Like he was pretty well known in Hollywood. And from my understanding, he was rich. So Andrew's mama, she has a mansion. They have this property. And then there's another, like, mini mansion on the property. Um, actually, there's two of them. And I think his sister lives on one. And then the other one would be for him and James. So, he wants to live there. And he claims that one of the reasons that he needs to go back to Malibu is because he has been unable to find any work in Indiana. So, he says that he's been unable to find a cinematography job since moving to Indiana to be with Amber years ago. If you guys remember, they met on the set of Marriage Boot Camp where Amber was actually still with Matt. And he was doing cinematography work on the set. So, he had a job when they met, but I can't imagine there's too many jobs in Indiana in production. Like, they probably don't film a lot in Indiana, right? 
Now, Amber and her legal team, they are so mad about this. They are not happy about it. I'm actually going to do a video after this to go more in depth with Amber's reaction to Andrew wanting to move. So be on the lookout for that. But they're not happy about it. And during the court hearing, Amber's legal team pointed out that Andrew has actually failed to even look for a job in Indiana. They're like, you say you want to go back there because you can't find work here, but you're not even looking for work here. And when Andrew was able to stand, the attorney, Amber's attorney, asked him just that. Like, have you looked for any job in Indiana since you've been here? And he basically said no. He basically was like, well, I have to be a stay-at-home dad here because... I don't have anyone that can watch baby James. Like, I don't have family here. So, while I'm here, I'm just trying to spend as much time with my son as possible. Like, there's no industry out there for me that would accommodate me being a, a single dad. Basically, that's what he said, essentially. But he said he's got three. I said he got three. He got three offers in California. So, he's like, I need to go and jump on these offers. Ironically enough, you guys, the offers in California are not in his field either. None of them are in production or cinematography. They're actually, one is a real estate job to which Andrew does not have his real estate license. So unless it's like he's going to be the secretary at the office, he, he's not going to be a real estate agent because he don't have his license yet. Now, maybe, you know, that could be something that he can look into if he has this offer. Maybe they're willing to work with him, help him, you know, with his uh, schooling to get his license. But as of now, he don't have a license, but he allegedly has a job offer. The other two job offers are actually um, sales related. Yeah, they're sales based, which I don't really know what that means. I guess it could mean anything from like working in a clothing store to working at a car dealership. Not sure, but they, they said that they were sales based. So he basically says, he says, I'm a full-time father, so I'm doing what I can while spending as much time with my son. There is no industry out there for me. Now, while on the stand, Andrew brought up that Amber has tried to talk him out of getting back into the film industry. That Amber told Andrew that he just needed to get a job at a factory. Like, we live in Indiana. There's factories around here. Just get you a job in the factory. Like, forget the film industry because that's not a feasible option in Indiana, you know? So, when the attorney asked him, well, why can't you do that? He said that he cannot take a job like that uh, because he has a fused ankle. So, he can't do any type of work that would mean he would have to stand for long hours at a time. But I'm like, a cinematographer? Aren't you, like, standing, like, camera? Going around with the camera? Are you sitting? Well, maybe you are. I think I actually have seen some cameras that are, like, there's, like, a seat and then, like, the camera's on the seat you move. So, I don't know. Maybe I spoke too soon. But either way... I don't know. I just feel like he could at least look, you know, I'm sure there's something. I can't imagine how he's made it all this time. Like we are almost three years later and he hasn't had a job according to him. Like he hasn't had a job and he's not looking for a job, but that may lead us to the next situation is him and this fundraiser. Now he said the fundraiser was for this, this, um, app that he wanted to do. Oh, it was to raise funds for a pregnancy theme game, which he said the inspiration for this idea come from baby James. So he wants to start this pregnancy theme game and he put up this GoFundMe where it was basically like, hey, team mom fans or anyone that may be fans of me and James, if you donate $10,000 or more, we will fly to do a meet and greet with you. Amber did not take that well and neither did her attorneys. So while he was on the stand, they brought that up. So Amber's attorney asked Andrew, so specifically for $10,000, you agreed that anyone could be flown out to have dinner with the creators and meet the little angel who started this all, meaning baby James. Now, Andrew didn't answer that. Like he was hesitating. And while he was hesitating, Amber's attorney shot out. So if someone was willing to pay you $10,000, you were willing to give them access to James. Is that correct? And Andrew immediately said, no, 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 not entirely. I mean, the way I thought of it was since I'm always in care of James, if I meet anybody, James is going to have to be with me. But there's no such timeshares with my child or anything like that in that sense. Now, this is such a touchy subject with Amber specifically because after they, after the arrest, after they separated, Andrew demanded that James not be filmed anymore. Andrew did not want baby James on Team Mom at all. So, 
Amber, she agreed not only on Team Mom, but he didn't want him on social media. Like they agreed they would not put him on the show and they would not post him publicly anymore. Amber agreed to that to only now have James kind of auction him off for like a meet and greet, right? I don't think that's fair. Like I think if like this is Amber's life, she is on a television show. If she can't have James on that show, then he can't reap the benefits of James being like James, Amber Portwood's son, you know, like a meet and greet with Amber Portwood's son. That's not fair, right? So I don't know. I thought that was pretty wild that he was doing that. So another big thing that I actually forgot to mention when we were talking about him wanting to move to Malibu, to California, is that his proposal for custody agreement going forward is he wants Amber to get three visitations a month for 10 hours a day. So right now, the visitation is that she gets three days per week. Three days per week. Now, back in, I think it was October of last year, she actually filed a motion to get overnight visits with baby James. Um, in her motion, she basically said like, hey, once he turns three, I want to get him overnight. And there are laws that support that, um, that say like once a baby turns three, year, three years old, they can have overnight visits with the other parent, right? So she filed that asking the judge to give her that. The judge said, you and Andrew need to figure this out outside of court. You guys got 60 days. They was not able to come to a resolution in those 60 days, which is why we're here now. And the judge has to come up with some sort of agreement. But the wild thing is, is Amber is asking for more time and Andrew's trying to take, take more time away. Like she's got three days a week right now. He's trying to make it to where he can move to California and she goes from three days a week to three days a month and only 10 hours a day. And he's also asking that she have to jump on a plane to go to California to see James those three days out of the month. Now, I looked it up to see like how far is Indiana from California, Malibu specifically. And if you're going to drive, it's like 29 hours give or take some because I don't know specifically where she lives, but um, I think I put in Anderson, Indiana to Malibu, California. It's 29 hours drive. Now, to get on a plane and go, that's a little bit over four hours. So, it's a four-hour flight. So, I mean, I guess that's, it's doable. Like, the day that she's going to see James, that morning she can get on a flight, fly down there, spend 10 hours with him. She would have to leave early that day, spend 10 hours with him, and then the next morning come back. But that's going to cost her a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Like, that would cost her a good bit to do that three times a week. But, not three times a week, three times a month. I mean, he wants her to have to jump on a plane and come see him in California. I don't know, you guys. I don't know if a judge is going to go for this. I, I don't know. I don't know. You guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm kind of mind blown to think that that would even be a possibility that the judge would allow, not that he would allow him to move. Like I could see that. Like I could understand that. Like James, I mean, uh, Andrew is from California. He does have help in California. He has his mom, he has his aunt, um, and his career that he was on before this situation, the Amber situation happened, was a cinematographer. Like, so he has the, the opportunity to possibly get back to work there. So I understand that. I could see why he wouldn't want to go back. Um, Amber is here. So I just don't know, like if the judge says, okay, you can go back. I feel like the judge is going to have to meet in the middle when it comes to visitation. Like, okay, she, she will fly such and such, such and such amount of time to California. And then the other half of the time you'll have to fly back to Indiana and allow her to see him then. Like you'll have to stay in a hotel and she can bring the baby to her house that way, it'll kind of balance out the cost for each of them. You guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. I don't even understand it really, you guys. I once knew this man. Um, he was friends with Sean in the military. And he had two kids and their mother lived in another state. And he would pick them up at the, begin at the beginning of summer at the airport. They would ride on the plane by themselves. They would be accompanied by like an attendant or whatever. She would sit by them or something, but they didn't have like their mother wasn't with them. A, a friend or family member wasn't with them. They just, their mother brought them to the airport. They got on the plane with, you know, um, a flight attendant and she sat by them. And when they got to the airport where their dad was at, she would walk them off, you know, into the arms of their dad. And they would spend the entire summer with their dad. But I couldn't imagine it just being like, 
come for a day, see him for 10 hours, go back home. That seems a little wild to me. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. If you know anybody that lives like this, that has some sort of custody situation where it's set up this way to where they actually have to fly to another state to see their, their child and it's only them doing it. It's not like meet in the middle. Let me know. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.